I grew up in a farm in Uruguay. I love growing up in a farm, but I didn't like farming. For me, it was important to get a job outside the farm. Back in the early 80s, my father had the vision that by buying us a computer, we could start learning how to code. I always liked data. There are big problems we can solve using machine learning that it would be impossible to solve through coding. I had been interested in pandemics for a long time. In early January, China announced to WHO that they had a virus. My first question is, is this growing similar to SARS and MERS? There was no data at that point. We collected data using newspapers from China. I did my first model to compare the growth and we realized it was much different. COVID was growing exponentially. You feel that you were going to be hit by a train. What I think is amazing was researchers, organizations, and companies just stopped doing what they were doing and dedicate their time to help. The Department of Health asked me to be part of their modeling team. There was, of course, urgency. We need answers and we need them now. We had to understand where the lockdowns working, where masks working, where cases were stopping or not. People are using this data to make decisions to help solve this problem for people to understand whether their locations making progress. They also need to understand the metrics. By design progress to zero, you need to know the distance between the peak and getting to zero cases. Life can change very fast. You saw a lot of heroes. There has been a lot of connections created that before didn't exist. It gives me hope.